continue to spread that uh, offensive scoring and goal scoring around here in 2019-20. And we'll get a chance to hear uh, about just about everybody eligible to play and healthy enough to play. Everyone will be drafted at some point today. Uh, Coach Dave Smith in his third season comes in with uh, two lineups today. Uh, the first lineup features the full complement plus two extra uh, extra forward and extra D. And then halfway through the game, he's going to switch goaltenders, the two that are eligible, Lynn Marshall and Owen Savory. They're going to flip flop. Savory's going to come in and play second half of the game. And we'll have a whole well, a whole new group, obviously. They can't do a wholesale change on all, all 19, but the, we'll, we, there will be changes from the first half of the game to the second half. A few guys will hit the showers halfway through, and we'll see five new players in, in this game. So uh, Al Shibley on the mic here at, as a PA. And introducing the two teams, Brock in uh, red and black with black helmets, black pants, uh, black stripes on the socks, RPI in their home whites. They wore last year red shoulders, white helmets, uh, gray stripe, gray and black stripe on the on the arm. So as I mentioned, we'll be with Marshall starting for RPI in this game. Marshall uh, has 43 career appearances for the engineers. He is 1028 and 2 overall. A 333, 331 goals against average, 900 save percentage for Marshall. In goal for Brock is Jacob Hutchings. And we don't know a lot about him. He wasn't on their roster. But uh, he appears to be a freshman from Brampton. And he is starting for uh, the Badgers. As a uh, very unassuming uniforms for Brock. It just says Brock across the chest. Three stripes on the elbows. As uh, the junior engineer being introduced here, a good tradition they've started here at RPI. And the rest of the RPI starters. Number 11. Brock University is in St. Catharines, Ontario, which is where Owen Savory played his junior high. He's is going to be the Brock of red, gray, and black. He's going to be the striker of Brock. He's going to be the dark on the ice. I thought he was going to be the dark, but no, it's black. Anyway. Today, engineers football team. You heard it right here on WRPI, defeating Rochester in their Liberty League opener, 38 nothing. Yancey Roy and Kurt Stuck were up at ECAM. I guess I was there too, just not on the radio. And it's now though, rise and uh, we'll play the national anthems of Canada and the U.S. here.
93.5 FM WRPI Troy, Houston Fieldhouse Exhibition Hockey on WRPI. I want to thank you all for joining us on this uh, October afternoon. Got chilly in a hurry here in the northeast. Feels like just yesterday we had some temperatures in the 70s and 80s, but it's down to the 50s and 60s and below. Even woke up was in the 30s, so. I guess that means it's hockey season. Going to hear, going to see everybody. If you're watching on the uh, simulcast RPI TV, if you're just listening, I'll describe it the best I can. Brock University Badgers and the engineers here. Coming up, it is Linda Marshall and Gold Jr. from Vic uh, Victoria, British Columbia, former trail smoke eater. To my right, to my left, is Jacob Hutchings, and we are ready to drop the puck here. It'll be Tour Linden against Tyler Rollo, and we are underway. Chipped in uh, by the Badgers, and it'll be worked on towards the blue line. Slap back in deep. Jake Johnson back to get it for the Engineers. Sophomore from Bloomington, Minnesota. Across for Otto Ville Lapinen, and now here is Riley. Will Riley on the move, the captain for these engineers. Picks the puck up at the wall. Try to throw back to the point. Now Leppin in. He'll backhand it into the corner. Goes all the way in deep. And now a shot comes in and a shoulder save made uh, by Hutchings on the first shot of the game. Came from Leppin in. Face off. Far side of the Brock zone. 37 seconds in. Zach Dubinsky's first unofficial collegiate draw. One back to the point. Cannot be settled by Klee. It's out to center ice. Klee battling for it there. Into the RPI zone it goes. Shot to the open wing. It'll be kept alive in the zone by the Badgers. Thrown towards the net and a glove save by Marshall. Might have been headed wide as the wrister came from the right to defenseman there. Connor Walters, number 44. But Marshall is able to hold on through a bit of a screen. Someone was looking for a deflection down low. I think it was uh, Fontaine, uh, Fontana. Dubinsky again on the faceoff for RPI. Again a win. Klee working it up the wall for Jake Morello, senior from Slingerlands. He'll get it deep. Behind the net it goes. Walters there. His pass broken up by uh, Zeke. And now Zeke jumps on it for RPI. Centering pass into the skates of the defender. It's chipped out of trouble into the near circle. Trying to keep it alive as Zeke, and he does. Throws it to the far side. Gathering in there is Hallbauer. Hallbauer walking in. A shot gets blocked. Rebound on goal. It'll be held on to by the netminder Hutchings, who gets those pads together just in time. Kyle Hallbauer showing off his offensive prowess. A sophomore out of Howell, New Jersey. Three goals and eight assists in 30 games last year. His first career goal, a memorable one at, North, uh, at uh, Notre Dame. That series didn't turn out as the engineers wanted, but uh, Notre Dame certainly a, a prominent program here in college hockey and uh, a big time goal to score. I think it was on NBC Sports as well. Uh, that goal by Hallbauer. Anyway, out the center come the engineers into the zone they come. They're offside, is carried in by Shelberg. Simon Shelberg is a freshman from Nashville, Tennessee. Grew up in Sweden. He's a New York Rangers draft choice. Face off outside the zone. Tristan Asp uh, Ash Ashbrook, excuse me. Freshman out of Mantis Deek, Michigan. He'll kick it to himself into the corner. This will wrap around. Johnson at the point. Throws one off the defender in front of him. It'll be gathered up and cleared. And now turn back over, trying to jump on it on the far side was uh, number 16, Rory Hermit. Shot back down the ice. They wave off the icing. 2-10 in here. Johnson backs up to his own near corner. A little bit of pressure comes. Goes D-to-D -to, -D to Riley. Connects to Linden out to center. And then Herman and uh, DeGrande De tried to go into the zone, but it's broken up. Turned around by Schaefer. Schaefer back across. Here's Cole Thiessen. Thiessen on the move. Stick handling 
to the RPI blue line. Will give and go on the far side. Thiessen turns and threw it off a skate. Turned around by Herman. Rory Herman out of Poe, California. Will dump it in. And Bowman will try and track it down there. Sophomore Nick Bowman. Six points last year. Three goals, three assists. And Samick will throw it across to the far point. Holding it there and wristing one. Take a deflection. Shot came from Corey Bamchuk. And it'll work behind the goal. Lepinen has it pop off his stick. Good defense there by Thiessen, although he shoots it on the play. And we'll have a stoppage here. Shots are 2-1 to one RPI early. No score. 16-52 to play in the first period. Exhibition hockey. RPI and Brock from the Houston Fieldhouse. The engineers open up regular season play next weekend at number four UMass, currently number four. Of course, that could change next week. And UConn Saturday, Sunday. The Sunday, Saturday afternoon game against the Huskies as it shot in there by Polino. Blocked. Worked around to the far side wall. And Brock will move it out the center. A little backhand pass broken up there. Trying to turn it back into the zone quickly are the engineers. Near side, Polino. Polino now a senior from Buffalo. Takes a big hit up high. And looks like he's able to avoid the, any kind of damage there as he went into the end wall. He'll try and track it down. Picked up by Lepinen on the far side circle. Into the far corner. Here's Lepinen waiting on his back end to the point. Going across. Intercepted. Picked up and moved on out by the Badgers. Flipped to the RPI line where it's played uh, by Hallbauer. Ahead for Dubinsky. Crossed the red line. Chips it deep. This one is four minutes old. And RPI certainly uh, with a better play so far. Better uh, territorial advantage. As this one's chipped in towards Marshall. Be swept away by Hallbauer. Brock changing. Picked up by Shelbert. And now Dubinsky into the skates of Lee. And Tommy Lee will track it down in the corner. And it's rubbed off the puck. Trying to work back towards it. We'll nearly picked that off. Now it's flipped down ice. And Shelberg will let this one run for icing. Simon's a big kid, 6'3", 190. Played for the Dubuque Fighting Saints. I believe he's the first former Fighting Saint on this RPI team since Luke Karate. Who now works in player development in the USHL. Referees today, Cameron Lynch and Dimitri Antipin. There's linesman Stephen Drain and Glenn Cook. Face-off win in the offensive zone for RPI. Mashy a shot from the blue line and no whistle. Now we get one. As Ryan Mashy, freshman from Stony Creek, Ontario. One of the bigger forwards to line up for RPI in the last few years. 6'3", 2'10". Engineers could use a player with his uh, prototype, game type, on the offensive end. There's a wrist shot coming and a nice stick save made uh, by Hutchings. RPI cycling now, goes behind the net. It'll be corralled there and Brack will try to clear it out near side, but Johnson pinches in. Jake Johnson shoveling it behind all the way around. Now Riley pinches off the base of the net, swatted behind, picked up Gornel, trying to center, backhand in front, just triples wide of the goal. Johnson again. Behind the cage, finding Gornel, looking for a passing lane. It's pretty well hemmed up in front of the goal. Ends up getting deflected away. And a big hit thrown over there by Ashbrook. In come the Badgers. Centering pass all the way through. Could have been dangerous. Now it's chopped in the air. Up high off the glass behind Marshall. Now a hit thrown there on Johnson. He stays on his feet. Picked up by Mashey. He'll lob it high in the air out to center. Wave off the icing as it's gathered up here. Uh, by Jonathan Schaefer. Schaefer across for Thiessen. Pressure comes from Bowman. Good forecheck from the sophomore. Uh, Bowman out of Shelby, Michigan. Now Mashey intercepts at center ice. Good little one-touch pass. Couldn't corral it Morello. And Brock will have to start over again. Now Morello puts the pressure on. Forces the turnover. Into the corner for Bowman. Bowman takes a bump there from Thiessen. Bowman on his back end of the circle. Penalty coming up here. It's going to be a hook. Bowman picks it up again. Drops it to the point. Shot by Klee. That one just goes wide. Picked up behind the cage. Still no touch of the puck. As the RPI has the extra attacker on. Morello. Hand off for Samick. TJ Samick walking in. Off the post. Chop back to the point here. Morello. He'll work it behind the goal. All the way around for Samick. And now it's going to be 
tied up and finally a touch of the puck. Oh my goodness, Herman couldn't quite corral it. We do have a, a delayed penalty coming up here. I think it's hooking, but it happened so long ago I forgot. Slashing on Thiessen. That was close. And we have a stoppage here. to go in period number one. Shots are 5-2 RPI and Brockton looks a little bit sluggish here today. Uh, they did play yesterday in St. Catharines at Los So a lot of good that did on the radio. One nothing RPI power play goal right off the draw. It was Polino who got that part away. 1315 left in the first, one nothing engineers. Played here by Hallbauer. And now gathered up by Samick. Fed all the way down ice. This should be icing on RPI. And it is. Babichuk. Face off coming up in the RPI zone. 13.03 to go in period number one. Engineers on top, 1 0. Stortz against Lempinen on the faceoff. Goes in deep. Paul Bauer near corner of his own zone. Works it up the wall for Linden. And now ahead for Paul, uh, Polino with speed into the zone. Pulls up top of the circle. A little spinorama. Backhand shot right on. Save made. It fell to the ice. Samick went battling for it. Now he's wrapped up in front of the Brock goal. And we have a stoppage in play. Face-off won by the Badgers into the near corner of their own end, although Morello's there digging away. Worked out here by Licorizos. Center ice, spin it off the skate of Costa Licorizos, and now he'll get another crack at it, but can't corral. Played by Sambrook. Into the RPI zone, picked up by Will Riley. A little touch pass up the boards, backtracking into his own zone. Morello shoots it off the wall, but doesn't go anywhere. Stays in the RPI end. Morello gets another chance. He'll play it back for Riley. Backing up into his own far corner is Riley. Now near side for Johnson. Johnson ahead to Dubinsky. He'll backhand it deep. Out of his net to play is Hutchings. Leaves it there for Schaefer. And now Brock looks to break out. Long stretch pass. That's a good one. Onto the tape of Marino. Now into the circle. Shot coming over the top. Might have been blocked by Ashbrook. I think it was. Uh, Save the scoring chance there to Tristan Ashbrook, former Lincoln star. Shots are 7 2 RPI. The lead 1 0 on a power play goal by Patrick Polino.
Draw in the RPI zone. Back to pick it up is Babichuk. And now stick handling Mason Klee to the line. It's broken up. And now a chance for a two on one. Good defensive play, though. Uh, by Babichuk. And now he gets hooked a bit, but skates through it. Through the legs of Ashbrook ahead to Gornel. Gornel into the zone. Hands it off for Ashbrook. Walking in. Wrist shot coming. Blocked down by the shin of Schaefer. And it hits off the end wall and caroms right to the side of the goal where Hutchings will cover. 11.21 to go in the first period. 1-0 Engineers. A power play goal by Patrick Polino. Came just seven seconds into the man advantage. Too quickly for me to look up even. Here's Shelbert. Lifting it up the wall. Herman ahead. Played it uh, right to Walters who shoots it across and the Badgers get it deep. Shelberg again. Down the middle. Backhanded ahead. A blind leave there from DeGrande. He lost it. It's played back in by uh, Pucci. And now DeGrande. Glove down by Bowman at center. He'll filter it in deep. It'll wrap all the way around to the far corner. Waiting for it is Skyler Pacheco. He turns it over. Dumped in the corner. We got a hit from behind coming up here. And another power play for the Engineers. It's going to be a cross check. I'm over for two calling penalties here. But... Engineers fans won't mind. It's another power play. DeGrande, thankfully, is perfectly fine and got up quickly. Could have been a dangerous hit by Frankie uh, Pucci. Second power play chance for the engineers. They're one for one. And an immediate clearance off the draw by the Badgers all the way down. Off the wall, Polino gets dropped, and now a chance short-handed, and a fired wide from the middle of the slot by Justin Brack. Puck back out to center. RPI will try and regather again. Really the first mistake the engineers have made in this game right there was a giveaway in their own zone, short-hand or on the power play, but the Badgers could not make them pay. Drop pass at center. Engineers look to break into the zone. They're on side at the point. Riley throws it all the way across. Good connection to Zeke up top here. Waiting is Babichuk, and now Riley again. Babichuk wound up looking for the one-timer. Redirected on goal. Save made there by the goaltender Hutchings, and he holds on. It was a good play, this power play. I guess if you score seven seconds in, you look pretty good. But on the second man advantage, we're only 50 seconds in. And again, pretty dynamic look from RPI. Oh, this PK unit for Brock before I give RPI too much credit. They've been pretty passive. But you have to like the sharpness in which the engineers are, are passing the puck around the zone. Hallbauer across. Johnson back up top to Hallbauer. Fanned on the pass. Cleared out by the Badgers. Now it's chipped uh, into engineers' territory. Back to pick it up. Hallbauer uses the end wall to find Ashbrook. Back behind the cage. It'll be played by Hallbauer. Down the middle. He'll cross the red line and drop it there. Ashbrook near side Lee into the zone. Is Johnson just on side again? Far side Bowman makes a move. Bowman walking in. It's pried off his stick behind the goal for Ashbrook. Johnson near corner. Back behind it goes. 37 to go in the power play. Tried to stick handle again did Bowman. And now he gets knocked down in the corner. There's a hit thrown uh, by Dedinato. Engineers stay on the attack, however. Lee, center slot, near side Hallbauer. Up top, center blue line. Hallbauer walking in. Wrist one, he scores! <laughs> It's another power play goal. 2 nothing RPI on top. Great setup. Hubbau is allowed to walk down below the top of the right circle. Way too much room. And not a lot of goalies are going to be able to, even with a clear sight at that one, I'm not sure that... Uh, 
Hutchings did have a, a clean look, but even with it, Hallbauer can zing the puck, and he does there. Dubinsky going to dump it in. That one hits off the Zamboni door. Early action from the fieldhouse Zamboni entrance. Turns into a chance for RPI to head back the other way. Goro moving in. Centering pass. Oh, Dubinsky fan on the shot. Kind of ate him up a little bit between his legs. That one kind of comes in. Hits bodies. Doesn't make it to Hutchings. It'll be skated out by the Badgers. Flipped on by Samick. Put him in a high stick. We play on. Mason Clee will carry it to the near corner of his own zone. Freshman from Morrison, Colorado. That one comes all the way back to the point now. And a turnover. Fed towards the net. In front. And uh, no shot came there. As it was uh, Tyler McArthur with a chance in front of the RPI net. But he never got the shot away. Eight minutes to go, first period, 2 nothing Engineers. A couple of power play goals from Polino. And Kyle Halbauer. RPI shoots it in, they'll make a change. Behind the net is played by Matthew Price Barnes. He hands it off to Brack. And now we got a penalty coming up on RPI. As Pol I think Polino's going off here. It's going to be a hook. Hooking on Polino, RPI will go on the penalty kill for the first time today. Shots are 9-3 engineers. get a stoppage here 741 to play or, or run down the scoring if I can I think it's wrong Polina with a power play goal Zeke is listed as an assist. I'm not sure he's going to get one. I guess we'll, we'll pick up the sc scoring up uh, at a later date. If you're just joining us, two power play goals for the Engineers at 6:29 and 11:06 of this first period. It's a WRPI doubleheader today. Football beating Rochester, 38 nothing. Up at Ecav earlier this afternoon. Four touchdown passes for George Marinopoulos, and the RPI defense picks up its second straight shutout after blanking Anna Maria last week. They beat Rochester 38 rip. Five turnovers forced by RPI's defense. Face off in the offensive zone of the Badgers, and they keep it in along the far side. Down low it goes. As they look to work on the power play for the first time. Engineers penalty kill last year 79.5%, a number they would love to improve this year. 97 of 122 kills. That second number is the one you also want to worry about. Can't take that many penalties in a season. Wrapped across to the far side. Shot coming. Oh, off the bar and in. It's a goal for number nine, Skylar Pacheco. A power play tally, and it's been all special teams goals here. In this first period, two to one now. RPI has his lead cut in half by the Badgers. Not a lot to that Marshall could do is off the crossbar and in. Face off one by Brock. Tipped along. Johnson has it swatted away. And now moved in deep. Ashbrook. Mashey fires it ahead. Gloved down by Gornel nicely. Tried to kick it to himself. Lost it at center. Picked up again by Johnson at the red line. Jake Johnson will ring it in off the near glass. It'll wrap all the way around to the far corner. There, Ashbrook takes a hit. He's been around the puck a lot so far today. Helped along to the near corner now. Gornel throws a big hit there. But the puck comes free to the Badgers. They move out to center. Another hit thrown that time by Mashey. Dump in try was rejected by uh, Riley. 
It'll force the Badgers back to their own zone where they'll change forwards as the defenders play catch. Now it's flipped down ice wide of Marshall. He sets it aside and leaves it behind the goal. More forecheck pressure comes from Brock. RPI just chips to center where it's gathered up by Thiessen. Er, I think that uh, number 12, Detonato. Anyway, back to the RPI zone it comes. Trying to make a move around Johnson didn't work. And a puck back in Brock territory. They restart there. Detonato's pass ahead. Looking for Licorizos. He takes a bump. DeGrande back behind his own goal for Hallbauer. Right now has the deciding goal in this game. Two to one. Now a giveaway to the side of the cage. Flip behind by Marshall. Hallbauer trying to jump on it. And now he has it. RPI looking to break out. Swatted onto the air. Nicely good hand eye there by one of the Badgers. Almost number 25, uh, Mendoza. Mendoza, excuse me. Mendoza. Now shot back in. Nearly picked up by Riley. Polino. Now Lee. Left in the corner. Riley up the wall for Polino. Back across far side with Lee. Plays it around one man. Coming over to help out. And now a chance for Brock to break in. RPI changing. Into the far side circle and down to the corner it goes. Good recovery that time by Hallbauer and Polino to negate the scoring chance. Now a centering pass intercepted by Chelbert. Pass too far for Polino. They're going to wave off the icing as it's played before the line by Walters. All out to the far side it goes. 4.45 to go. First period, 2-1 to one RPI. Exhibition action here. Brock University and RPI. Brock uh, from Ontario. There's a trip coming up as Polino is upended behind the goal. Third power play chance coming up for the Engineers. They are two for two. So a third power play opportunity coming up for RPI with 4.30 left in period number one. Busy day at ECAV continues tonight. RPI men's soccer, the number 19 team of the country, taking on crosstown rival Union College at 7 o'clock. RPI women's soccer lost to Union today, 1-0 in overtime in Schenectady. It was an afternoon game. RPI field hockey, a tough one at Ithaca, 4-3. The Bombers edging RPI field hockey. That's it for scoring so far around RPI athletics. There's a face-off won by the Engineers. They're back on the power play. Ashbrook a shot and a glove saved through traffic by Hutchings. He'll hold on. There is regular season college hockey going on this afternoon. Providence is up 2-0 on Maine in the first period. BU and Union are scoreless in the first over in Schenectady. Niagara and Ryerson, that's an exhibition game. That's going on later. UMass Lowell is hosting Alabama Huntsville. That's coming up in an hour and a half, so... This afternoon and tonight, we have regular season games going. Nice play by Hallbauer to leap up and keep it in at the blue line. Hashbrook trying to get it deep and does, finding Bowman. Bowman spins around in the near corner. Back to the point. Ashbrook, and that pass off the mark out the center. Gathered up by Hallbauer. He'll backtrack towards his own blue line. Minute 35 to go, and RPI's third power play. They're two for two. Tommy Lee, sophomore, moves it in out of Calgary. Former Chilliwack Chief. Engineers get it as far as the far circle, but it's broken up and cleared by the Badgers. 3.45 in the period, 1.15 to go in this power play opportunity. Engineers start up from their own zone. Will Riley, senior captain out of Toronto, Ontario, near side for Lapinen into the zone. He'll ring it in. All the way around it goes. Polino takes a look over his shoulder, trying to play it back into the corner. It's wrapped up there. Zeke trying to 
pried out of some skates. He will and shoots it all the way around to the near side. Riley pinches up all the way to the goal line extended to keep it alive down low. Nice stick lift by Lepinen. Polino far side corner. 47 to go in the power play. Back up top for Zeke. And now Babichuk. Near side Riley. Riley moves in. Now he'll pull it back out to the point. Will Riley down low. Snaps it across to Lepinen. Lepinen centering pass. Far side shot. <laughs> from Lepinen who had 15 assists last year and showing off exactly why he put that one right on the tape of Zeke. Just absolutely crisp passing there. Riley to Lepinen to Zeke for the goal. Our guys, each of the returns have been working from the play goal scored by number 12. So RPI 3 for 3 on the power play. 2.52 left. And the first. Dubinsky is going to shoot this one to the far side of his own zone for Klee. Worked up the wall. And now back to Dubinsky. A little bit of speed into the zone. He'll take a shot low. Tipped off the glass by the stick of Hutching. Tie up in the far corner of the Brock zone. I'm, I'm sure the RPI coaching staff would love to see an even strength goal today, but they'll take three power play tallies. Now Dubinsky works the turnover far side, but then gave it away himself. Brock will skate it out to center ice. Flipped into the far corner, out to play it as Marshall. Left it to the side of the cage. Klee picks it up there, but didn't get far with the pass. Dubinsky helps it around. Played by the Badgers now along the near side half wall. Another centering pass intercepted by Mason Klee and moved out by Herman, who takes a hit there from the shoulder of Aiden McDonald. Badgers turn it around, now try to break into the zone. Good poke check by Gornel. Back checking, he's the last man back there somehow, but he broke up the play. Wrapped off the end glass. Chel uh, Chelberg shoots it up the near side wall where it's gathered up by Mashey into the skates of Gornel. Gornel on the move, pulls it back, tried to step around the defender. One too many moves, and Detonato was able to shut him down. Now move back out to center ice. Here is McDonald, who chipped deep. First one to it is Hallbauer in the near corner. Spins out of a check there and moves it ahead. Ashbrook off for Gornel. Hard hit there. Gornel stays on his feet, but Walters got him. Back from the Badgers far side. Moving it in and chipping in is Fontana. And spun off the puck was Polino, but it's out to center. Gathered in by Berg. He'll go cross ice, and now here is Walters. Seems as though the Badgers forwards and defensemen are pretty fluid as far as their movement. At any point, there could be a number of guys back or forward. Anyway, a chance there goes by the wayside for RPI. Now back comes Brock here into the zone. Near side, Berg takes a hit. Big tie-up behind the cage. Puck comes free to Berg again. Now he's in the near corner. Played it back to the point. Walters or Rister, easy stop by Marshall. Just uh, kicks it to the near corner. 25 to go in the period. Up top, wrist shot coming. Gets a deflection. Marshall had it covered. It was along the ice. And now carried behind the goal by Tour Linden, sophomore from Great Falls, Virginia. Nice cross-ice pass for Johnson. 13 to go in the period. Three on three in the zone. Johnson, a wrist shot. That one's blocked down. Sent back the other way as they try to catch the engineers in a change. But DeGrande will beat everyone down the, pot, uh, down the ice Excuse me for icing with 3.5 left in the frame. 3-1 RPI on top here. Power play goals from Polino, Halbauer, and Zeke. And the lone tally for the visitors belongs to Skyler Pacheco, a defenseman, who also scored on the power play. Draw here, moved along, centering pass right out in front. And a good ending to the period that started also well for these engineers. Shot through 13 to 7 RPI. Through a period, they were three for three on the power play on five power play shots. That'll do it for us, for myself, I should say, here. In the first, we'll take a break. I'll have a bit of a rundown of last season 
coming up in our first intermission. Your score once again after one period from the Houston Fieldhouse in exhibition play. It's RPI 3 and Brock 1. You are listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey, 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy. The next station play is RPI 3 and Brock 1. You are listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey, 91.5.
3-2 is the RPI lead. Badgers have the puck. Falling down was McDonald, but he keeps the puck in the zone. Babichuk. Lift the stick, move behind the net with it. Corey's not the biggest defenseman, listed at 5'10", 175. The shot comes in. The centering feed hits a leg, kind of pinballs around, and Badgers are able to clear out to center. But uh, Babichuk's been pretty strong here in his own zone. This is what we've seen so far. Now Polino picking up speed into the offensive zone, pulls up the blue line, lost an edge, fell down, but Lepinen stays on it for RPI. Polino in the far corner, back to the point. Wrist shot coming from Shelberg, and it was blocked by the defense and moved down. McDonald will shoot it in. Marshall leaves it behind the goal. Flipped up the near side boards where it's intercepted and gathered up by Hallbauer. He'll shoot it all the way down. This should be icing on RPI. And we get a whistle here. 18 23 to go in the second. RPI's lead has been cut to 3 2. Shots are 15 to 10, engineers. Draw coming up to the right of Lyndon Marshall, who, who's been unfortunate to allow those two goals. The first one was on the power play, shot bar down from the middle of the circle. And the second one was a second shot and a rebound as the shot goes wide after he was left out to dry by the defense. So a good showing for Marshall so far. The numbers don't look terrific. Eight uh, saves on ten shots, but... The how more important than the uh, the what there. Center ice draw coming up here. Zach Dubinsky to take it. Uh, first period faceoffs were 12-11 RPI. Dubinsky was five and one. He wins another one. So always a good sign when the freshmen are doing well in the faceoff circle. The engineers showed pretty good improvement last year in that department after a number of years in the red. Don't quite remember how they finished, but certainly better than the last few. Johnson tried to spin it up the wall, but it's intercepted and moved in. Nice move all the way in, although a centering feed comes through. Terrific individual effort there by Tyler Rolo. When we get a penalty out of it, it's going to be a slash. As Rolo carved his way through the RPI defense, looked like he was going to shoot, but then kind of spun a... Oh my goodness, there's a bird on the ice. Well, went up to the Raptors again. That's shocking. Uh, anyway, Rolo made a nice play. I'm easily distracted, as you can tell. Uh, Rolo made a really nice play all the way across the face of the goal. He was slash on his way through, tried to throw a centering pass that I don't think anyone was ready for. And the Badgers weren't able to stick it home, but they do get a power play out of it. They are one for one on the man advantage so far. We're looking for our first successful kill of the game. RPI is three for three in the power play, and Brock's one for one. Tie up in the near corner RPI zone. Samick's going to spin it around far side. It'll be kept in there by Walters. Now a hit thrown there in the corner. Ashbrook has it pinned up, but it comes through to the point for Walters again. Wrist shot and a save by Marshall right in the bread basket. He'll hold on. As Aiden McDonald was looking for scraps, there were none. And he was promptly ushered out of the front of the net. Minute 35 to go on the power play. It's Riley for the slash. Will Riley in the box for the engineers. Face off to the left of Marshall. One by RPI again. Shelberg behind. Picked up by Hallbauer. He'll wing it all the way down the ice. Hutchins behind the cage. Stops it there. Schaefer will carry to the far side before leaving it off. Jordan Sambrook. Big defenseman works it to the near side for Rolo into the zone. Burton trying to jump on it, but the engineer's clear but not out. Sambrick lost it to Lepinen, trying to find De Grande, but it's intercepted nicely. RPI might have been off short-handed there if not for the play by Jordan Sambrook. Now Sambrook gets it deep. There's a kind of a tackle there by Shelberg. But it's inadvertent. Puck comes free to the far side. Back to the point. Badgers on the attack. 52 to go on the power play. Down low, they work it into the middle. Good break up there by Hallbauer. Got very low and broke up the centering pass. Now Shelberg gets a touch but can't corral. Back to the point it goes. Fake a shot. Near side. And now center blue line. This is Schaefer. 
to the far side for Burton. Top of the circle, down low, centering pass out in front, and the shot went wide. Good uh, job to harass the shooter. I think it was DeGrande, and he's able to clear it out in the end. 16 to go in the second period. 15 seconds left on the power play. Quickly moved ahead, but broken up nicely by Tour Linden. Tour Linden going to chip it deep. And that will do it for the power play. We do have a penalty killed as Riley steps onto the ice. And just as he does, we have a slash coming up on who? They get Samick? Or is he just talking to somebody? No, well, there's a penalty on RPI. They're going to get Polino for slashing almost immediately after the penalty ended. Just uh, three seconds after the penalty expired to Riley, Polino goes to the box. So back-to-back -back penalty kills here for RPI. Samick will shoot this one around. This one ringed in by the Badgers around to the corner. Intercepted there and cleared out by Dubinsky. Left there by Hutchings. Tie up in the near corner. Shot around by McDonald. Waiting for it is Walters at the far point. Right back down low it goes. And now Pacheco. Backing up Walters, far side connection. Back up top for Walters again. They play catch on the far boards now. Down low, goal line extended all the way across. Shot coming, saved by Marshall. Trying to find it underneath them is cleared out by Riley. Lyndon Marshall with a nice save, shorthanded. Keeping this one at uh, three to two. Now he'll dive out of his net to hand it off and a dangerous clearance across the face of goal, but it leaves the zone. 30 seconds to go on the power play, the second of back-to-back -back opportunities here for the Brock Badgers. Cleared out there by Johnson kind of sneakily. Didn't have a lot of pace on the clearance, but it was an open point, and he found it and shot it all the way down. Under 14 left in the second period. Burton moving in. He was up at it. We're another power play here. Eight seconds left on the Polino. Penalty is going to be a hook, so we'll have eight seconds of five on three time. They're going to get DeGrande here. So DeGrande's off for hooking. Face-off win here for the Badgers. They take a wrist shot that goes wide. Played around behind the goal. Now out in front, a chance for Dubinsky to clear. First penalty's over. Polino out of the box. Now he wants to jump into the attack. RPI still short-handed. Polino a shot over the top of the net. Karam's off the glass and all the way out to center. Samick will shoot it back in. Now carried back along come the Badgers into the zone. Rolo across. Back to the far side it goes, now near side. Wrist shot saved by Marshall, rebound pops free. It's played behind the goal, good defensive play by Mason Klee, and he'll shoot it off the glass, not out of the zone. Glove down there, Schaefer across, looking to feed it down low for Marino. Through him to the near side corner. Polino and Samick are there. Samick finds Polino, and Polino clears high in the air, all the way down. You're listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey, 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy, Perilous Garris at the Houston Fieldhouse. Where RPI leads Brock 3-2. A minute left of this power play. Back to back to back advantages. As that one hops up into the Brock bench. We're going to stop it in play. Brock was one for one in the power play. But they're now they're in danger of a one, in, one for four. If they're unable to convert here. They have 54 seconds left on the slashing on DeGrande. Grande. 
Face off outside the RPI zone. Linden up against uh, Pucci, uh, Pucci. And now RPI playing four corners here. And Johnson will slap it ahead. Tipped in deep by Linden. First one to it. It's going to be Skyler Pacheco. He has the lone goal for Brock so far today. Now Lepinen applying, uh, applying some forecheck pressure. Into the zone they come. Losing it on the stick handle was Pucci. Now Lepinen will clear. 25 to go in the man advantage. Pacheco back to pick it up here. Aiden Pacheco, the goal scorer. He is from Kitimat, B.C. Moved along for Pucci. He'll shoot it into the corner. Shelberg pins it up in the corner with three to go in the power play. And now a handoff there for Hallbauer. Head for Gornel. RPI's back to the even strength, and now they have a chance here. Shelberg across to Grande. A wrist shot sliding. Block made by Pacheco. Worked in deep. Back to the point. Hallbauer looking for another. Nice move. Hallbauer shooting. He scores! <laughs> to get it past Hutchings, and it's 4-2, his second goal of the game. A nifty toe drag to get it started. And one of the prettier, prettier plays you'll see by defensemen all year. Of course, Hallbauer really only a defenseman by name. He has the uh, hands of a forward, and he showed it off there. Engineers on top now, 4-2, their first even strength goal of the day. It comes on the heels of three straight kills. And that has to be a, a, a positive talking point for the engineers out of this second period. Now, here comes Bowman into the zone near side. He'll make a move. Far side, Lee. Centering pass, looked like he was going to go around the net. Kept in nicely the blue line. Here's TJ Samick walking in. His shot gets deflected behind the goal. Clear to the far side, comes down. Nice play at the blue line there. That's Babichuk. And now Lee, good stick handed by him, off for Bowman, intercepted. Oh, an interception there. Tommy Lee might have saved a breakaway chance there. Didn't look like much coming out of the zone, but there was a man breaking for Brock. And that one will hop up into the penalty box, and we get a stoppage here. 10.45 to play in the second. Engineers back on top by two. Brock has closed twice uh, to within a goal in this game, but each time the engineers have answered. This time, Kyle Halbar is scoring his second goal of the game. One was a... A heck of a shot. The second, one, the second one was a heck of a move from Hallbauer. Now we get our change in goal. Savory is in. So Owen Savory is in. This is our. Now we're switching lineups here. Something I've never seen before, but it's an exhibition game, so let's do it. RPI is swapping out five players: Laka, Jerry, and Burgess. Uh, Bear and Ferner are all, all in the game. And Riley's out. And uh, who else is out? Hallbauer's still in. Lapinen's out. Polino sits. And uh, Zeke sits as well. So we got guys coming in, guys coming out. That'd be kind of weird for the guys that are leaving as they can go take a shower in the middle of the game and come out and, and watch the rest of it, I guess. This one's lifted into the RPI zone. Savory will flip it with the blocker hand into the corner. Uh, centering attempt broken up by Hallbauer, who's having himself a, quite a game so far. Now here is Jacob Laka, fresh out of the locker room. Moving ahead, here's Burgess. Burgess makes a move all the way around the net. Burgess. Shielding the puck in the near corner of the Brock zone. Gets double teamed. Finally loses it. As they continue to dig away. Halfway through the period now. Wrapped around to the far side. Badgers move it out. It's Schaefer all the way down into the near corner it goes. RPI's in. Tie up there. There's four engineers over there, including Jacob Laka. And the sophomore out of Bratislava, Slovakia, works it ahead. Now Billy Jerry. One of the new entrants into the game will shoot it deep. Played there by Hutchings. 27 will play for RPI in all tonight. 
So it's a bit to keep track of here. On come the Badgers into the zone. Moving it deep there was Marino, hit thrown by Mashey, but the puck's tied up on the far side now. Off the boards, a shot over the top. As the saver was in the butterfly, but it missed the net. Picked up here by Ryan Mashey, high in the air to center ice. It'll be gathered up on the skate by Sambrook. In his own zone, gets some pressure from Ashbrook. And moved into the RPI zone, far side, over to play it, Brady Ferner. Sophomore from Dakota, uh, Dakota Dunes, South Dakota. Had four points last year, two goals, two assists. And now Mashey far side. Uh, shot comes in, just fluttering from the point as uh, Walters didn't get all of it and an easy hold for Savory there. Shots in the game are 16 to 14 RPI. And we get a stoppage here and a break, a, a media timeout. Although there's not a lot of media here. Shots, uh, in the mention 16-14. Two goals for Kyle Halbar now. So take a look at uh, out-of-town scores. Maybe. Union trails BU 3-2. They're in the second period in Schenectady. Scoreless... Uh, they haven't started yet. UMass Lowell and Huntsville, that's why they haven't scored yet. It's tough to do that. The only other games going on, Providence leads Maine 2-0 in the second period. Exhibition game, BC over New Brunswick 4-2. That's a final. Here we have 4-2 RPI. With 8.49 to play in the second period. Three power play goals in the first for RPI. and even strength tally in the second by Hallbauer. As RPI back on top by two. They've never led by more than two. Stretch pass off the near wall. Past everybody. And this will be icing as Bowman apparently did not touch the puck. Engineers are in action next weekend. They open their regular year against number four UMass. As they did last year. Seven o'clock a week from yesterday. My Minnesota Twins are playing the Yankees right now. So... If I stray away from paying attention to this game, you'll know why. No, I'm just kidding. It was a tough one yesterday. Wrist shot coming in. Save made by Savory through traffic. Good pads. Excuse me, pad stop. And now Morello. Touch pass on Dubinsky. Into the zone. It'll take a wrist shot way over the top. It'll carry him around to the near side. Shelberg keeps it in. Morello digging for it there. Around to the far side corner. Morello's going to get there. Wrapped up along the far wall. Puck pried away. Now to center come the Badgers. Three on two if they hurry. Although a circuitous route from Walters allows the engineers to get back. And now RPI trying to play it out of their own zone. Dubinsky. Far side for Samick. He's going to play the whole game. Good outlet pass. Walking in Morello. Tried to feed it across for De Grande, but it hit a skate. And now back out to center ice are the Badgers. In their own zone now. Up the wall, tipped in deep by number 21. Who I don't have. All right. DeGrande down the middle looking for Linden. That's broken up at center. Number 21 is... Uh, Christian Gurney. Who they, oh, there he is. Oh, we found him. I just had his wrong number. Christian Gurney. All right, we figured that, figured that out. Big hit behind the goal by Samick. Kicked out by Tommy Lee. Right back in uh, to Shane Bear, senior from Calgary. And a transfer from UMass. 
a year ago. Scored one goal last year for RPI to, 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 to Bear. It was against Harvard. Here's a shot coming, saved by Savory. The rebound pops into a dangerous area, but RPI is able to clear it out of there. Right in front of the net it went. But the engineers with good coverage. Six and a half to go in the period. 4-2 RPI. Man breaking is Linden. Bird is trying to lob it to him. And they wave off the icing early. Tie up in the near corner. Goes behind the goal. Sandbrook to the far side. Lifted out. Passed everybody. Not enough for icing the other way. Now Ferner back to get it. He'll shoot it off the near boards. Waiting for it is Burgess. Trying to make a move. Lost the puck. And now on comes uh, Mendoza. Mendonza. Going to get it right eventually. Here's Billy Jerry for RPI. Junior out of River Falls, Wisconsin. Gets it back from Ferner. Had to wait for it, and it was intercepted by Brack. Now Marino fights for it. Bouncing puck, top of the zone. Nice read by Babichok. He'll move it out to center, although his pass is off the mark. Goes right to Schaefer. Schaefer tries to turn it around for the Badgers on the far side. Good pressure by Laka to not only try to win the puck, but stay on side. Did it for a moment. And now it's lobbed back in by Burgess, who loses it there off to Schaefer. Pass through the middle. Engineers touch up to again avoid an offside call, but in dumping it deep, they will change and allow the Badgers to take over. Shots are now even at 16 apiece. As RPI's offense is uh, lightened here without the man advantage opportunities they had in the first, but they do have an even strength goal to show for their efforts so far in the second period. Now Mark Gornel stepping around to check. Three on one down low. Gornel trying to center. Diving poke check made to break up the play. And now picked up on the far side by the Badgers. Shot near side. Kicked along by Walters. And we get a whistle here in the offside. 4.58 left in this one. I believe we have another stoppage. 4.58 to go. Second period, I should say. 4-2 is the engineer's advantage. As, uh, we'll take our, our break here. RPI women's hockey in action today. They lost yesterday uh, at uh, Merrimack. Taking on the Warriors once again this afternoon. Engineers looking for their first goal of the year today. And I'll tell you if they've got one soon. I know the suspense is killing you, but the internet is not cooperating here. 1-1 one, one in the second period. So RPI has scored its first goal. It was by Sabrina Rapaci at 4:26 of the second period to tie things up. Mikayla Grant Mentis has scored from for Merrimack. So 1-1 one, one RPI and Merrimack game two of that two game series in North Andover, Mass. Tipped in deep by RPI, so no icing. This one will be wrapped around in a bad giveaway. Gornel's going to shoot it in off the blocker hand of Hutchings. Now Mashey in the corner trying to step through a check. It's rubbed off the puck and now picked up here as a hit is thrown by Gornel, but he took uh, most of the blow there. Now a penalty coming up here on RPI. I don't think they might get Gornel here anyway. Moving into the zone. Pacheco across. And a poke check there. Whistle goes. But it will be a fifth power play chance here for Brock. Their fourth of the period. Yeah, one for four overall. It's going to be elbowing, I think, on Gornel. They got to find him first. He was on the bench by the time the whistle went. So RPI puts its 4-2 lead on the line again here shorthanded. Quick huddle for the penalty killers. Dubinsky in there to try to win another draw, and he does again. He has been fantastic in the circle for the engineer. Shot comes in, intercepted by Ferner, and fed all the way down the ice. Stopped there by the goaltender. Hutchings is out of his net. He'll go behind and play it across to the near side for Pacheco. The lone goal scorer for... Brock in this game. Sticked away by Savory on the center ice dump in. That came a little too close to his net. 
Now back to the point, walking in. Walters a shot. Blocker save made by Savory into the net. And we get a stoppage here. Face-off coming up in the RPI zone, and someone's getting tossed from the dot here. So redo the face-off. 3.36 to play in the second period. 129 on the power play, an elbowing call on Mike Gornel. The engineers have not had a good period penalty-wise. So far, their kill has been good. Down low they go to the Badgers. Now back up top. One-timer blocked there by Hallbauer on the try by Dedenato. And Dedenato back to pick it up. RPI will change half of its killers here. With uh, about 55 to go on the man advantage. Here is Rolo walking right in. His shot was blocked there. Might have been bare. Goes behind the cage. Flip to the corner. Marino back to the point. And now uh, Brock has it. Goal line extended. Back to the top for Burton. Burton a wrist shot. Saved by Savory. Rebound pops free. And out to play it is Shelberg. And he'll shoot it all the way down. Sambrook. For Brock, near side connection. Brack into the zone. Return feed from Berg goes behind the goal for Brack. Trying to center off the side of the net. Penalty about to expire. Move back to the point. Two to go on the man advantage. Shot was blocked by Tour Linden. Out of the box comes Gornel. The engineers have killed off all four penalties in this period. That one hops in the air and goes right next to the net. Scary moment there for Savory, but he was able to cover up. The, far, the near side of the cage, and it just went wide of the goal. Now back comes Linden for RPI. Tour Linden, a shot right on. Save made. Gobbled up. Held on to by Hutchins. It escaped for a moment, but he sucks it back in with the goal stick and puts his mid on it. 1.48 to play in period number two. 4 2 RPI on top. One more game left today, as far as RPI Athletics is concerned, other than the home game that is. Women's hockey is in action for another period at Merrimack 1-1. Men's hockey, men's soccer, excuse me, number 19 in the country is home at ECAV at 7 o'clock. Puck played behind the Brock goal. Shot off the glass, glove down there by Samick and played along. Thiessen, he'll go D to D to Schaefer. And this will be icing if Samick can win the race, and he does. Icing call with a minute 24 to play in the second. Face off one back by the Badgers. Who wants to go pick it up? It's going to be Cole Thiessen. Now Stortz to the RPI line where it's broken up. Mashey has to backtrack a bit as Jerry was still in the offensive zone. The Angels will restart in their own end. Babichuk, nice move. He'll continue to skate with it. Finding Jerry. Jerry, for, uh, backhand forehand shot was blocked. And they worked on out to center. Babichuk gave it away. Here's Stortz. And a whistle. What's the call here? Did it hit someone on the bench? I don't know. Fifty-one point five to go in the period. RPI wins another draw thanks to Dubinsky. And Burgess ahead for Dubinsky along the near side. Dubinsky's not a real big kit. But he's already shown 
off some pro uh, prowess in the circle. That was a pro wrestling move, but apparently a legal one. Laka was just dumped behind the goal. As it shot up the near side wall. Now moved along. Shot coming. Pucci over the top. 15 seconds for Laka. Plays it back behind for Bear. And now around to the near side for Hallbauer. Ahead for Burgess. One more rush here for the engineers. Three on two if they hurry. Burgess in. Has it poked away. And carried back behind by Walters. That should do it for the frame. Let's throw it hard off the near boards. Laka picks it away. But that'll do it for the frame. Now Laka didn't like the way he was uh, shoved near or at the end of the horn and he lets his man know about it. I can't do who that is. Uh, but the, everyone's paired off here. Shane Bear is jokingly having a chat with uh, Frankie Pucci. There's still some players tied up here. I have to separate the folks on the ice. Ferner's over there. Burgess went to help out Laka from the beginning. But everyone seems to be over over it, Ferner with a, a last word there for McDonald. Anyway, the period's over. Engineers keep their uh, two-goal lead, four to two after two. Shots are actually 19 to 18. Brock faceoffs 23-20. RPI. Engineers did not get a power play chance in the second. Brock had four of them, weren't able to score. That's kind of been the difference in this game. Special teams play, certainly playing a part. We'll be back with more from the Houston Fieldhouse in just a few minutes. Once again, your score after two periods, RPI 4, Brock 2. You're listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey on 91.5 FM, uh, WRPI Troy.
It's going to be. And it's going to come all the way out of the zone. All right. I guess where the puck was when the whistle went. Face off through two periods 23 20 RPI. Zach Dubinsky, 9 and 4 on the face off. And an offside whistle here. We'll have another one. Tristan Ashbrook was four and five. Tour Linden three and three. Justin Brack five uh, five and two for Brock, their top faceoff guy. RPI Pep Band had to cut back to their rendition of Careless Whisper because the puck's in play, and that's really too bad for everyone. Shot comes in off a skate. Hit Mashy to the corner. Now Gornel will give it away. Mashy again. Near side. Nice play by Hallbauer. Kind of mishandled it off his skate, but he was able to kick it back to himself. And now going down in the near corner was Gornel quickly back to his feet. Mashy cycling. RPI's two biggest players, or two biggest forwards, I should say, trying to cycle the puck on the near side of the zone, but finally it's picked away and moved out by Walters. Into the RPI zone, and he'll chase after it himself. Connor Walters. As it is Mario Cavalier in goal. I'm must have missed out when RPI changed its netminder in the second period, but Cavalier is back there. He is a first year goalie out of Mississauga, Ontario. On come the Badgers into the zone. Rollo is denied. And now the other way, it's Ashbrook. Tristan Ashbrook across for Bowman. He'll pull back and take a shot, deflects it into the air and into the netting. We'll have a stoppage in play. 4-2 RPI. One goal each way in the second period after the engineers out power play gold Brock in the first three to one. All the goals in the first period were on the man advantage. Draw here to the right of Cavalier. Dubinsky uh, almost won it. it was, he pushed the puck backwards, but Brock's able to clear to center. Engineers fired right back in. Shot around to the near side, kept in by Shelberg. Worked back out to center ice by Brock, helped into the bench by Klee, and we get to stop it here. So in the RPI second group, uh, Shelberg and Klee are the paired together, a couple of defensemen, a couple of rookie defensemen. Shelberg at 6'3, Klee 6'2, 195, former Sioux Falls Stampede. By the way, uh, Johnson was the other RPI defenseman not in the second grouping, second lineup. This one trickles in on Savory. He'll cover up. Came off a skate on the far circle. Sun still peeking a bit through the blinds to the west. Won't do that for too much longer. Of course, RPI men don't have many afternoon games. I think just one at home. So usually it'll be dark to the West End. Now a chance here breaking in. And no shot came of that attempt from Dedenato. Now back come the engineers. And De Grande lost it on the carry. Goes back to pick it up. Tommy Lee cycling. Lee with one assist in 18 games last season. No one assist in 29 games, I beg your pardon. DeGrande, he played in 11. I don't know. Somebody had 18 games last year. Here's Stortz trying to step through a check. That doesn't work. Ferner ahead for Laka. He'll fire one way wide along the ice. It'll carry him all the way around to the far side and leave the zone. Shane Bear went after it. Now picked up by Hallbauer in his own zone. Left behind for Billy Jerry. Jerry, there he is. Jerry had the 18 game. And it was 
somebody. He's a junior now, no points. Uh, Jerry walking right in, walked all the way around behind the goal for losing it. Shot back to center, broken up there by Hallbauer. Puck just sticks to his tape. He's able to flip it in deep, gathered up by Justin Brack. He'll shoot it off the glass behind his man on the far side, picked up by Shane Bear. A little backhand flip back to Hallbauer, indirect off the near wall, center ice for Jerry, who shoots it deep. Over to pick it up is Schaefer. Lobbed off the near boards. Here is Shelbert. Through the middle, touched on by Herman. And sent right back to the RPI zone, and Simon Shelberg back to pick it up. Down the middle, good connection to Mashey. Good outlet pass. Mashey couldn't corral it in the end, but it goes deep anyway. Gets the job done. Poked at by Gornel. Back to the point. Lee lines up a wrist shot and a save made up into the near corner uh, by Cavalier. Glove down. This could be a hand pass on RPI. Although not much that Gornel could do about it. It was right in his path, and he could. I think you could tell he kind of realized it was a hand pass as soon as he touched it. Uh, but uh, I know there's intentional offside, but I don't think they have a rule called intentional hand pass. Anyway, face up will come just outside the Brock zone. Bowman went after it, couldn't corral, and now moved up the boards by Walters. Connor Walters, good cross ice feed. Moving into the zone, a shot comes from McDonald high and wide. It'll carry him all the way out of the zone and all the way down the ice. Out of his net is Cavalier, as Bowman would have been the first one there, if not he, uh, out to play. Now Walters, cross ice pass, connects there to McDonald. Aiden McDonald into the RPI zone now. Third period, about five minutes old. 4-2 RPI on top here in exhibition play. Uh, near giveaway there, but on comes Morello. Trying to stick handle into the zone. It's fed back to the RPI uh, end, where it's played by Babichuk. He'll skate it ahead. One hand pass to the middle, picked up Morello, trying to make a move, rebound! Hit between the legs of Cavalier, and we get his stoppage in play. Big chance there for Jake Morello. As it didn't look like that pass from Babichok was going to get to him, but it eventually did, and he nearly walked it all the way into the net. The Cavalier made a nice stop, and he got those legs together just in time. Shots with now 21-19 engineers. So this is our first uh, stoppage of the uh, third period, first uh, media stoppage. Brock is going to play their third game in three days tomorrow at Quinnipiac, a 4 o'clock puck drop. For heading back to UO, OUA action against Toronto and York University. I looked at University of Toronto way back in the day. Anyway, University of Toronto and York next weekend. The scheduled opponents for Brock. Fed back in by RPI. It'll be gathered up there by Sambrook. He'll wrap it around. Intercepted by Lee. Sent back to the point. Samick a wrist away high and wide. Now a shot blocked on the try by Bear. Goes into the far corner. Lifting it in towards center. Glove down there by Samick. Played to the wall. And turned back up ice. Here come the Badgers. Rashad coming, blocked high up into the netting. And we get a stop at here. RPI opens its home schedule uh, on the 18th and 19th of October. Uh, UConn and Canisius come to town Friday, October 18th, and Saturday, October 19th. Wrap up in the corner. RPI far side. Goes behind. Uh, Chelberg. Ahead for Laka. He'll pull up to the top of the zone. Comes back out to center. Only Chelberg's there. He'll skate back towards his own zone now. Spins it up the wall for Laka. As RPI touches up, they're back in on the attack. Laka, spin move. And he got stripped of the puck there. We got a penalty. The far official. 
Uh, that's the Cameron Lynch made the call and our guys have go on just his fourth power play of the game it's first since the first period. Looked like a hook from here but the closer referee Dimitri Antipin didn't see it. Maybe he's at a bad angle. Regardless RPI will go on the power play for the first uh, the fourth time and they are three for three. MacArthur in the box for hooking. And Ashbrook gets tossed from the dot, sends in RPI's top faceoff man today. And Dubinsky, Ferner, thought about a shot, plays it back here to Babichuk. And now back to Ferner, far point. Up top, Babichuk. Wrist shot blocked down, sits in the slot. Chance for Brock to clear, they do all the way down. Spinning puck right on goal, helped decide by Savory. They still leave it behind the goal. Sophomore from St. Catharines, Ontario, or excuse me, from uh, Cambridge, Ontario, played for the St. Catharines Falcons. ECAC hockey all rookie goaltender last year. Tremendous numbers outside of his, his wins and loss, which many good analytics uh, folks will tell you that's not a good indicator, really, of a goaltender's play. Here's a move to the center of the ice, shot and a save by Savory, pops over the net, and a try by Berg. His numbers were very good, Savory's. 246 goals against and a 926 save percentage for a goalie that went 515 and 3. Almost uh, accentuates those numbers. Makes them even more impressive. Here's Bear. Stick handling. Flips it in deep. He'll chase after it himself. 47 to go on the power play. Flipped around to the near side corner. Jumping over the puck was Marino, and it cleared all the way down. Bird just couldn't knock it out of the air. Savory back behind the cage. He'll stick handle a bit here. <laughs> a little bit too much maybe for some of the fans liking. But on comes Hallbauer now. 30 seconds on the power play. Hallbauer looking for the hat trick. Splits the D. Hallbauer walking right in. And he lost at the last moment. Around behind Laka pinching in Hallbauer. 17 to go on the power play. Back to the point for Burgess. RPI trying to keep his perfect power play on the night alive. They have 12 seconds left. Bear across there. Hallbauer back up top. Barrow slap shot. And a blocker save made high off the glass in the near corner. Penalty three seconds left on it. Bear keeps it in the zone. And it's over now. RPI three for four on the power play. Back to the point. High slot Laka. Wrist shot coming. He zinged it wide. Hits off the back of the net. Picked up by the Badgers. Worked up the near side wall. That's Stortz. Turned back around. Here's Linden. Drop pass. Mashey walking in. Tried to center, blocked high into the netting, and we get another stoppage in play. 11.27 to play, third period. Engineers look dangerous again on the power play. Weren't able to score on that one. Draw here to the right of Mario Cavalier. A shot comes in, and somehow Cavalier sees, uh, sees it as Shelberg ripped one from the near point. And we'll draw it up once more. Now Linden gets tossed. Sending Mike Gornel to the faceoff circle against Pucci. And Gornel wins it cleanly back to the point. And Shelburne had it come off a shin pad out to center. Back to pick it up is Mason Klee. Passed everybody. And it's going to be icing here on RPI. Gornel was dumped along the far wall. He's wondering how that was still icing as he wasn't Give it an opportunity, I guess you could say, to touch the puck. RPI and Merrimack women's hockey regular season action. They're going to overtime in North Andover. Tied 1-1. Puck goes behind the goal. Shelberg on for Herman. Cross ice feed. They move it in. Linden centering pass looking for Herman. Just couldn't get his stick down. Now another up the play of the middle, save made, Herman, another try goes wide. Big time chance there for Rory Herman. And now back to the RPI zone it goes. Moved ahead through Gornel's legs. And now worked along, it'll be 
Play it here. By Matthew Price Barnes gets it as far as the RPI zone. Now Rolo. And Burton had a crack at it. Now he goes to get it. Ferner put him in the wall. Tyler Rolo escapes Jerry for the time being. And now it goes behind the cage. Centering pass. Fanning on the shot. It was a good stick there. Defensively. Now putting on the pressure is DeGrande. And then he'll hit the near wall hard. He's trying to put a check on MacArthur. Back in deep goes the puck. Fed right on goal into the midsection to Savory. A long shot by MacArthur. That draws a whistle. Well, a face off in the RPI zone with 9.53 left in the third. Well, a long stoppage here. Check out some scores from out of town. Other games getting started at 6 and 7 o'clock tonight, so we won't quite get there, but. Uh, final score, Boston College 4, New Brunswick 2 in exhibition play. They're starting third period at Providence, 4 nothing. Friars over the main Black Bears. That's a Hockey East game already, believe it or not. I can understand maybe playing a regular season game. They're already playing conference games. Union fell to Boston University 7-3 in Schenectady today. Ryerson and Niagara were supposed to start at 4, but we have no score from that game. Hope everything's okay. Uh, West. UMass Lowell hosts Alabama Huntsville at 6. Clarkson hosts Royal Military. At 7 p.m., U.S. Under-18 team takes on Northern Michigan at 7. It's always fun to see some of these teams. Northern Alberta IT takes on Western Michigan. Some more non-conference games. Michigan Tech and Robert Morris are in action later tonight. UConn and Sacred Heart in Connecticut, of course. Holy Cross hosts Simon Fraser in exhibition play. And longtime RPI opponent Guelph takes on Vermont. RPI, RPI is like 20-0 against Guelph. That was the 12th of the team that RPI played the first game of their, the birds back, of their 1985, uh, 1985 championship season was against Guelph. That's why I knew Guelph. We don't play them anymore. Maybe that's what the engineers need. Get back to the title games, get, get Guelph back on the schedule. Anyway, 9-19 left in the third period. 4-2 RPI, no scoring in the frame so far. Badgers move it in, shot in by Walter, stopped by Savory behind the goal. Near side corner, Samick. He'll take a look, and he'll find Jerry down the middle. He'll cross the red line, gloved ahead. It's going to be a hand pass if touched by a Badger. It wasn't. Turned around by Burgess. He'll just lob it into the near corner. RPI will complete a change. All five of the RPI players who played the first half of this game are now on bikes in the uh, east end of the arena. You got the shade up. They're watching the game and riding the bike. Finishing off their workout. And we have a penalty coming up. Gonna be on Pucci, Frankie Pucci. Didn't see what it was for, but it'll be the fifth power play chance for RPI. They're three for four. Sure. Interference on Pucci. Fifth power play opportunity for RPI, matching the five chances for Brock. Brock is one for five. They scored on their first one, but haven't since RPI scored on its first three, but haven't scored in the most recent opportunity. Here's Ashbrook. Near side of the goal. Takes a tight angle shot save. Rebound not cleared. Picked up there. The point by Babchuk. Babchuk back near side. Here's Dubinsky. Babichuk a wrister. That one's just getting a piece of it. it was Cavalier. Worked along to the far side. Now a bouncing puck in the circle. Ashbrook tries to find it. Nice patience there. Taps it back to the blue line. Into the skates of Ashbrook. Near side Dubinsky. Shot right on and a stick save made. Bowman back to the near side half wall. Pass Dubinsky all the way to the point for Babichuk. Far side now Gornel. Down low for Bowman. 
There's actually Ferner over there. Now up top, near side Dubinsky. Back to Babichuk, 109 to go in the power play. Sent to the far side, it's Ferner. Backing up, now to the near point. Babichuk, top of the circle, pulls it back. Makes a move, takes a shot, he's... Corey Babichuk, it's 5-2. to two. Another power play goal for the Engineers. Their fourth of the game. Good patience all the way around by this RPI power play unit, and they make it pay off. As Cavalier just got a piece of that one, not enough to keep it out of the net. As that is the first goal Cavalier has allowed today. Moving it right back in, Herman, the shot goes just wide, all the way around to the far point. Wrapped back in. And now a stretch pass here off the stick of Burton into the corner. And now to the near half wall. Now leave the zone. Up the near wall now, and uh, Linden's going to work it ahead for Gornel. Gornel walking in. He'll fire high and wide as that puck didn't sit for him. It'll roll all the way out of the zone, and now back comes Brock. Maybe a chance to break in. And Shelbert did just enough to negate the chance for uh, maybe a breakaway there. Or a two-on-one. He jumped the play and broke things up. Back in comes Brock. It was Pucci. He lost it. Turned around by Lee. 5-2 Engineers with 6.41 to go in this exhibition game. Engineers are 6-2, I think, their last eight exhibition games. Looking to make it 7-2. That's to be handled by Savory and a shot from the blue line. Not much to do there. Now we get some extracurriculars behind the goal. You are listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy. Have to get up to the soccer match, soccer game coming up here at 7, so it'll be rather tight post game. Just for another like, scoring quick and get out of here. We'll have our usual full interview with Coach Schmidt before next Friday's game against UMass. Just a real tight schedule today. I'm sure they'll have plenty to talk about, including about this game. Here's an icing call. 6-12 to go. It's a 5-2 RPI lead. San Diego's power play last year was 13.3%, 14 to 105. So that's certainly a number they want to get better. As with the kill I mentioned, 79.5% on the penalty kill for RPI last season. Both numbers you want to get better. It'll help you pick up more wins in the end. Badgers cycling in the near corner of the RPI zone. McDonald. Tie up there. They've worked around behind, and now here's Burgess with speed down the middle to the near side. Engineers on side. Backhand, no. Burgess still on it, goes behind the cage. Senior from Phoenix, Arizona, lays it off for Laka, who lost it. Played here by Walters. He'll lift it up the boards out to center rice. Waiting for it there is McDonald. Did a little spinorama, lost it to Ashbrook. He'll snap it back to Bear. Shane Bear tried to dump it in, but didn't get enough on it. Got as far as the blue line. Badgers turn it around far side into the zone. Spin move by Licorizos. And now a tight angle shot stopped by Savory, but he couldn't hold. Fed back to the middle of the ice. Mashing, no. Good play there by Bear just to shield the puck away before the engineers could pick it and run. Far side, Mashy, Werner, Rister, glove save by Cavalier, and he'll hold on there. 502, 503, excuse me, left. RPI with a 29 to 24 shot advantage in this game.
Face off win in the offensive zone for RPI. For, uh, Ferner, high slot, wrist shot coming, that's blocked. There's a man breaking. It's Costa Licarizos. He takes a shot and a stick save by Savory all the way to the far half wall. Ferner down the middle. Good connection to Linden. Tour Linden moves it into the zone. Handoff shot coming over the top from Gornel. Kept in by Rory Herman along the near side. Uh, last California skater RPI hand was. I think it was Josh Rabani. Here's Herman at a shot. Save made. Rebound fanned on one second try. Linden couldn't put it away. A little shake and bake there from Klee to walk in. He'll fire off a skate. Basically centering pass looking for Herman. And that'll leave the zone as Chelberg's back to pick it up. Down the middle past everybody. This is going to not be icing. Four minutes to play. Worked into the zone by Sambrook. And now behind it goes, picked up by Chelbert. Whacked at and kept in the zone, into the skates of Herman. He'll fire it out to center. Brock will shoot it back in to the near corner. Thrown right back out in front on the back end by Marino, but nobody home. Back comes to Grande. Little saucer pass near side, a little bit out of the reach of Lee. Turned around there by Chelbert. Lee comes back to pick it up. And he'll feed it along for Dubinsky. He'll back in into the zone. Help decide there by Cavalier. 3.15 to go. RPI still up by three goals. A couple of them by this man, Kyle Hallbauer, takes a hit. Laka. Off for Bear. Now into the zone come the engineers. Jerry getting roughed up, but he does the job, moving the puck into the far corner. Away from him, Laka keeps it alive for a moment. Now it's out to center. There's a collision there. Burge is trying to find it. He goes down. Now it's a two-on-one. Across, a shot. They score. Pretty set up there. And it's Tyler Rolo with the tally. Makes it 5-3 with 2.42 left. It was almost a three-on-one, really. And a nice centering feed past to the last man back. It might have been Bear. Some made a sliding effort. Went down on his stomach to try and cover as much territory along the ice as he could, but the pass got through, and Rolo was able to stick it home. So RPI's lead cut once again to two goals. It's 5-3. It's the third time today that engineers have seen their lead reduced. But now just, just two, and that's not the end of the world when there's only two and a half left in the game. Babichuk, stick handling through center. Still on it, and he'll flip it into the zone. Played up the near wall. Now Babichuk on it. Here's TJ Samick for the engineers, lobbing it deep. Cavalier out of his net, he'll shoot it far side. Pressure comes from Bowman who throws it hit. Played by MacArthur, nearly gave it away. Gurney worked to the far side now back to Gurney on the near stretch pass is a good one although it's a little bit too much on the touch and Savory will cover up as it hopped right off the stick of Gurney almost a shot there from center ice although it was inadvertent 31 27 are the attempts in this game on goal in favor of RPI One back to the blue line. Brock has it, looking for more. Walters a shot. Ooh, deflected over. Now another centering feet. That one's blocked down. And a man breaking is Morello. They're trying to find him, and they do. Morello into the zone. Brock gets back well. Tied up right at the blue line, but kept in the zone. Here's Linden. Shot and a save. And it'll be held on to, or let, uh, excuse me, Marino's going to play. As Walter. Big hit there by Chelbert. Fans like it on uh, Brack. It'll be bounced out to center ice. Stolen there by Morello. He'll lob it in. On goal, helped aside by Cavalier, who plays up the boards. That's intercepted by Lee. Lee into the zone, circle. Pulls it back, centering feed. Oh, that's <laughs> Tom Burgess on a 
a pretty pass from Tommy Lee. And it's six to three. Burgess seemingly out of nowhere. And you can credit Lee. He made the steal on the far side of the zone, pushed it around the defender, and then had the patience to wait for Burgess to join the play. And a, a, a solid effort all the way around as Burgess is able to finish from a tight angle on the near side. So a flurry here, a couple of goals in the final minute or so. Engineers back on top by three, and exactly the kind of entertaining afternoon that these RPI fans hope they would see. Six goals for the home side. Now back comes Brock, and a little backhander up in the air. Savory will snag it with the glove. Thirty-six point eight to play, and a face-off coming up in the RPI zone. Face off here, shot coming. Oh, Savory didn't see it, it went wide. Off the stick of Detonato. Behind the gauge. Worked up the boards and out to center ice, 25 seconds left. Sambrook with pressure on the. Uh, Badgers ice the puck with 18 seconds left. It'll send the draw back down. Fans, a uh, couple of them headed for the exits. With this one in hand. Ashbrook in to take the draw against Pucci. And here's Samick carrying up the wall. He'll take a shot. Why not? 12 seconds to go. McDonald up the boards. Kicked at by Klee. Carried on further. Here's Pucci into the zone. Circle. Stood up and dropped by Klee. Wrapped around with two, shot from the point with one is blocked. 6-3, RPI takes this one over Brock University. Plenty of scoring. Couple by Hallbauer. Four power play goals and five chances for RPI. Including their first three opportunities of the game. RPI has only uh, two even strength goals. Oh, Rinaldo is scoring now. Six twenty-nine of the first period. RPI got the scoring underway. Patrick Polino for Chinsky and Corey Babchuk. They had one nothing. Then eleven oh six of the first. The other power play talent: Paul Hallbauer from Jake Johnson and Tommy Lee. Brock Bolton at two to one at twelve forty-eight of the first period. Skyler Pacheco from Frank Pucci and Connor Walters also on the man advantage. RPI with third power play goal in the period of 1658. Jake Zeke, Juan and Will Riley made it 3 to 1. 28 seconds into the second period, Brock made it 3 2. Adam Bird from Jared Marino, an even strength goal. But then RPI answered at 8 31 of the second period. Kyle Halbauer, second of the game from Tour Linden and Danny DeGrande. I made it 4 2. Corey Babichok is first uh, Virginia goal, though unofficial at 12.07. On the power play, made it 5 to RPI. Assist to Brady Ferner and Zach Dubinsky. Then it was Tyler Rollo making it 5-3 at 17-18 from Christian Gurney and Matthew Price Barnes. 18.55, Todd Burgess capped the scoring off a nice pass from Tommy Lee. That made it 6-3. Winning goalie tonight is Lennon. Marshall, he made 11 saves over the first two period and a half. Savory, Owen Savory made, made 14 saves on 15 shots in the final 30, 45 of the game. Jacob Hutchins takes the loss for Brock. He made 12 saves. 17 stops on 19 shots for Mario Cavalier in relief. Before we go, we'd like to thank Isaac back at the station for getting us on the air and keeping us there throughout. And for all of you listening, to thank you for listening to tonight's game. Your uh, next WRPI Sports broadcast is next Friday at 7 o'clock. It's also the next hockey broadcast. RPI taking on UMass, uh, the Minutemen, in their regular season opener. 
My name is Perilous Garris, and once again, thank you for listening to tonight's game. Your final score in exhibition play was RPI 6 and Brock 3. You have been listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey on 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy.